In this project, we'll show you how to find Pokemon with a Raspberry Pi. So this kind of looks like a lore module, but instead of attracting Pokemon, it'll let you know when they're close. It's like getting a notification when Pokemon are nearby. This can be really useful, especially when you're at work or stuck in class. So now you don't have to keep your mobile device open or keep checking every 10 minutes. So here's how it works. When a common Pokemon appears, the first LED will turn on. The second LED lights up when rare Pokemon are nearby. And when legendary Pokemon show up, the third LED will turn on. By loading some Python code onto the Raspberry Pi, you can connect to the unofficial Nantic Pokemon API. It'll request when a Pokemon spawns in your area. In the JSON configuration file, you can specify any location. This is really risky because it could potentially get you banned. It's completely against Nantic's terms of service, and it's more of a proof of concept. Nantic doesn't like it when folks use the API, and they'll probably shut down access to it. So if you're watching this in the future, it may or may not work. So fair warning, don't use this on your main account. And if it doesn't work, at least you have a pretty cool looking Raspberry Pi case. Speaking of the case, we designed it to be 3D printed on any desktop 3D printer. Hey, and if you don't have access to one, you can always use a service like 3D Hubs to print it for you. Now to make it extra fancy, we cut out a piece of acrylic and engrave some details using our desktop CNC. The three LEDs are wired to a common ground and connected to the GPIO on the Raspberry Pi. If you're interested in building this project, we put together a tutorial with full documentation along with the Python code on GitHub. It's really easy to assemble because all the pieces just snap fit together. The Raspberry Pi really makes a great platform for experimenting with this sort of project and it allows you to exploit all sorts of other ideas. So check it out and don't forget to subscribe for more projects. Thanks so much for watching and happy hacking.